Kamu. We're bored. It's Tuesday at noon. Frank went into the shop on Thursday. They had a lot of trouble finding parts for our old boy. It's taken a little bit longer than what we planned. It was pretty naive of us to think that Frank would be finished quickly. We don't have anything. We left it all inside the van. I'm wearing the same exact outfit I've been wearing since Thursday. And we don't have any of our external hard drives, so we can't even begin working on our next video. So we're just waiting for a phone call to see when we can go pick him up. So bright. We are terrified. The last we talked to the shop, they said the owner was gonna call us in the morning. It's now noon. So we're gonna head up there and see what happened. At the very least, we need to grab some things out of Frank that we desperately need. Our biggest fear is that they've worked on it long enough and they simply tell us that they can't fix it because they can't find the part. Well, this next conversation we're about to have may determine quite a bit with our future. All it took was a simple conversation for our moods to just go sky high. They confirmed that they think they have a solution and it might not be the best solution, but it's what they can do. And they said at the end of the day, the worst thing that could happen is our gas gauge working backwards, which means our gas will be on E, empty, when it is actually full. Okay, we can live with that. I actually really like that quirk. It's gonna be really funny. When we let them know that our biggest concern was that they would just essentially quit and say, sorry, there's nothing we can do, that's not something we ever mentally prepared for. And I think we were getting ourselves way too worked up last night, which is why we drove here to talk to them in person. And they just shook their heads and like, no, absolutely not. So it may still be a week before we get them back, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to work in the end. We need a little pick-me-up, so we're going on a date. Amber even put on makeup. Ho oh, ho ho. First time in about a year. The destination is on your right. Chicken house. Chicken house. blistering 39 degrees today in Michigan, so we're gonna sit outside and enjoy the sunshine. I just want everyone to know that I skipped breakfast for this. So my judgment of the food is a little biased because anything's going to taste good right now. Anything. Nathan and Andrew. Oh, yes. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, Oh my goodness, I might take my coat off for this. It's that messy. I got the California, Amber got the Nashville hot chicken. I wanted to try that, but we always try to get something different. And then we also got the loaded tots with cheese, bacon, and jalapeno. First taste. Mm -hmm. That's real fried chicken. 
That's delicious. This chicken has the best crunch. Zero sogginess. That never happens. Oh my gosh. How hot is it? It's spicy. It's like a perfect hot sauce spice. I mean, there's a kick. But oh my goodness. It's so crunchy. Super In crunchy. what? Yeah. You've been hiding out on me? I'm truly not exaggerating when I say that this is the best chicken sandwich I've ever had. Yeah, crack that baby open. My nose is starting to run. All of this was $17.90. I want to try it. Put hog in it. Okay, this is a little spicier than I let on. I'm having a hard time tasting the tots. <laughs> but it's so good. So we brought you all the way out here to tell you that we got a call from the shop yesterday. And Frank should be done on Monday. We've heard that before. So we're not getting our hopes up quite yet. But that's the outlook right now. Just so excited. I can't believe how good that was. I think one thing we've learned that the smaller the building, the better the food. Yep. 269. Nobody wants to start a road trip at those prices. Quick little story about the chicken house. It used to be called the Ice House, and for years and years, me and a few close friends would go there a few times a summer and we'd hang out on the docks after getting ice cream. We were sad to find out that it closed one year and come to find out, they still serve ice cream. They just added really, really good chicken to the menu. So I need to tell them that not all is lost and we could continue with our tradition.